Okay, so infernal views. Uh, so to have 10 different types of roller coasters operating in, in your park, each with an excitement value of at least 6.0. Uh, and so as you can tell from here, honestly, I, I'm not too concerned about this. We don't have a time limit as long as we just like get the roller coasters. Yeah, it, it should be pretty simple. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too worried. So. We do start with a small park here. Uh, what are the stats on this? Okay, so this already has an excitement of 7.3. We're good. We're fine. Uh, which, okay, we do pay per ride, so that's good. So for this one, uh, I'm going to bump this up to $7. And uh, we have to do a better name. <laughs> We have to do a better name than just wooden roller coaster one. Uh, what is a good name? I mean, we've got we've got it going down, peering out of the rock, volcano theme, maybe something like with magma, maybe lava. Can't think of anything right now. I'm gonna end up doing something really lame. Uh, I know. I guess we'll just a uh, volcano. I guess that's fine. I'm not good at naming coasters, but that is uh, off to a better, better start. So we'll go ahead, unpause it, get our research. Uh, well, first of all, one thing we really want, since we are paying per ride... Okay, we do start with the cash machine, so, which means that we're just going to get roller coasters. Max funding towards roller coasters. Uh, I am going to take care of uh, the handymen. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this area here. That way I just I don't have to deal with it. I don't think it's going to do anything for me right now. I'm going to save a little bit of money in the beginning by not having to uh, deal with that. Uh, so let's see, Handyman 2 can have this area. Handyman 3 can have this area. Already in, and then... Uh, I'll just I'll just make it stretch all the way up here. Hopefully it won't uh, be that big of an issue, but uh, we will see if it ends up being dirty. Uh, this is pay per ride, so I should not have a very hard time getting money. Uh, I do want to start off with another ride. This is kind of gonna this is gonna be pretty similar to Gravity Gardens. I'm not just restricted to roller coasters, but I'll probably just keep uh, just keep. Keep it with the roller coasters. Uh, not this one. Ten different types. Let's go with the Steel Wild Mouse. Excitement 7.2, 6.1, and 6.8. Okay, so let's keep the Flying Dutchman Gold Mine. And let's keep it with uh, the scenery. Something like that. We can test it. I uh, will get rid of that and then replace. Ah. I don't want to get rid of that. Oh, yeah. These back here. Okay. That should be fine. Is it covered? It is. Cool. And then I do want to replace that. Definitely want to replace the wall that I just broke down. Uh, what is it? What kind of wall is it? This wall. Got it. So hopefully we'll get the test results soon. We can open it up. Right. So I'll just charge $6 for this. Open it up.
and uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it rains. I don't think it's very often, but I think it does rain. So I'm going to put $20 umbrellas, market, same price. Because when it rains, they'll buy umbrellas for any price. We definitely want to take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and put a restroom here. I'll put one more restroom over here. Yeah, I guess that seems that seems okay. All right, so we've got that started. Uh, okay, good. Starts out as free, and I guess it's not late enough to uh, justify adding food or anything like that. So I don't know if we have enough to get started on another roller coaster. I don't think we have that kind of money. Uh, let's see. It looks like there's actually not a uh, mini roller coaster design that already has sex excitement, so we might have to build one of our own. Oh no. Uh, what about these? Oh, that is way too much, and that is an ugly roller coaster. I am not building that. Uh, okay, ignition. Uh, but that is 610 with the scenery, so uh, I'll just I'll I'll have to buy it with the scenery, but definitely not buying that right now. So oh, do I have a mechanic? I do. Uh, does have, I'm just gonna get rid of this. And then set this inspection for every 10 minutes. And this for every 10 minutes. I think what I'll do, I'll I'll put in a shopping like kind of center right now. Something like that. Yeah, whatever. You gonna turn away? Yeah, whatever, you're gonna turn away. Okay, go in there. What? Nausea tolerance, none. Okay, well that's your problem. I think what I'll actually do... Have this go out a little bit more. And then... Get rid of this, that way uh, we'll get more people in line for Volcano. Just got the looping roller coaster. That's a good one. And I'm going to go ahead and start opening up some stalls here. Start off with a burger and candy apple stall. And also, I mean, they're surrounded by lava, so I'm assuming they're going to want some drinks. I know that if I was surrounded by lava, I'd want a few drinks. Keep me hydrated. Uh, let's see. Open this one up. Oh, okay. My cat is bumping into everything. That's nice. Awesome. Open up a second information kiosk. Oh, yeah, it does rain. Okay, so it's about to rain. Yeah, so we're just placing this, and then probably a couple. Uh, obviously, we're going to change this. I like the dark red. I'll open that one up. And so one more sou souvenir stall for now. Probably just t-shirts. Selling the same color... I'll bump this up to 350, see what they think about that. Alright, we selling umbrellas here, selling umbrellas here, that's awesome. 
Oh, and uh, definitely want to put bins. Let's see. Yeah, definitely want to put bins around here. And some benches. The people buying food, they're going to want to sit down. And this will let them sit down. There we go. And uh, with this being a higher nausea ride, I'll go ahead and uh, put in some benches here. That should be good. That way they can sit down and not arf on my paths, because that's kind of gross, and I don't want them to. we we'll go ahead, fast forwarding. I think we're doing okay money-wise. Hmm, maybe. Uh, yeah, so we spent, like, $2,000, and we only lost $200 for the month. So, yeah, we're doing fine profit-wise. Uh, we should probably start thinking about our next roller coaster. So, we want an excitement rating of at least 6.0. Compact, uh, inverted coasters are generally, you know, pretty cheap, and decent stats uh let's see the one uh deja vu is good i mean i can also do revertigo uh but if i can put in deja vu it's a bit taller a bit more stats so yeah i'll put deja vu in. i could actually put it right in the middle of this can i i can let's see can we flip this around and maybe have, yeah, exit right there. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, I like that. So we'll go ahead, stop fast forwarding. Test, rotates, and... Something like that, maybe. Uh, the queue line might be a little short. Uh... I guess something like that's okay. So we'll let it complete a run. What are the stats? Remember, we want at least six excitement. Perfect. We got it. So I'll go ahead and buff up the price to $6. Open it up. Oh, and then I also want inspection every 10 minutes. That way it breaks down a lot less and we can continue fast forwarding. We have 300 guests. That's pretty good. How bad is the wait time on this? I know it can get kind of bad. Four minutes. Okay, that's good. Then a uh, volcano getting some more. This is covered in barf. Where is the handyman? Oh, that's why I accidentally unclicked that. Okay, well, that should be good. Now clean up all that. Uh, so yeah, just fast forward, wait until we can earn some more money. No, I want to pop the balloon. Got the balloon. And we're doing okay for now. So what do I want the next coaster to be? We just got the LIM launch. That's kind of an expensive coaster model, because even uh, Lava Launch nearing like $10,000. The Lava Launch would be a perfect coaster to put in uh, our park. But uh, we are not there yet. We'll put in something else. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe. I mean, I'll, I'll keep scenery. Money's not going to be an issue for this uh, one since we is paper ride. The uh, the one I built, Jolt, has just over six excitement. Jellyfish. Yeah, not a lot of these have over six excitement. It's all the expensive ones that have them. So, uh, maybe I'll just build Jolt. That is 9,000. We're currently at 6,000, so we are gaining pretty quickly, honestly. I might be able to do this. Okay, how much room does this take up? Mm, that is quite a lot of room. I could put it, like, right here. Eh, that's a little awkward. Uh, 
Uh, definitely not there. Nope. Okay, so I guess, like, right here is fine. I could already hook up the exit. That way there's no more paths required. That's pretty good. I only got rain, so that might bring us to 10,000. Those $20 umbrella sales. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. So close. Got it. I'll let it fast forward a little bit because we don't have that much money and I want to gather up. Uh, uh, I forgot to put a handyman for this area. Uh, since this since this is going to be such a popular spot, I'll just have its own dedicated handyman in this area. Uh, we can go ahead and start testing though. And we're at 400, so that'll probably be enough. Uh, yeah, that's okay. There's only one train, so it should be fine. Come on, at least six. Cool, 6.2. Let it wait and open it up. Oh, wait, I need to uh, up this up to $6. And that's going to be that's gonna be our goal. I mean, we have one, two, three, four. Or, oh, it's raining already. Rains a lot, you know, for uh, art covered in magma. I guess it's lava. I think lava is above the surface, magma is below the surface. Something like that. Whatever. I don't know. So what is the next coaster I want to put in? I know I just unlocked spiral roller coasters. Those generally have a pretty high excitement raising rating. The one I built, Wizard, has exactly six. So I don't know. I'll probably I'll probably put in something else. Maybe like Wicked Wizard or something. That's a classic one. And it doesn't have the largest footprint, so I think I can just put it right at the front of the park here. Yeah, it'll work out pretty well, I think. Yeah, right at the front. Mm, I could put it on this side. Yeah, I think I'll probably put it on this side. How close can I get to the path? That'll probably have to be good. Uh, wow, we can already do it. Man, I missed being able to charge for a ride. You get so much money. I'll just let it fast forward a little bit. I'll get to like a thousand and then stop fast forwarding. I uh, forgot to test, but doesn't matter. There we go. So we got the queue. Uh, probably charge about six dollars for this maybe 650 if uh, the excitement rating can handle it fast forward a bit just to get the uh, there we go 6.16 so six dollars is good open it up uh, I for I want to set this to 10 minutes I did I set this to 10 minutes I did not well I think it is time for a second mechanic. And we're doing pretty well. Continued fast forward. I think we're going to be able to get done with this one pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to be an issue at all. Making good progress. Good money. people would just stop barfing on my path, we'd be great. So, what is the next one? Oh yeah, we we have plenty of options. See, this one does not have a cheap option at all. So, uh, yeah, that, that, might, that might be the last one. Uh, I have not used a corkscrew yet. Uh, let's see. I know I have a couple 
my designs. Poison Ivy is exactly at six. But that is not going to fit uh, over there. I think it'll fit over here, though. Uh, it'll fit, like, right here. I think it's decent. That is $13,000, though. Yeah, I'll bump it back a little bit. That way it doesn't get rid of the uh, scenery from uh, Veterans Gold Mine. And we only need a couple thousand. So that's not too bad. I should be able to get that pretty quickly. Almost there. 1,000 more. Come on. Hmm. Deja Vu is not working through its uh, queue line like I thought it would. I hope the queue line time is all right. All right, we can go ahead and place this down. Let me go ahead and start testing this, and then I'll uh, check Deja Vu queue time. Five minutes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and press play. There we go, and honestly, I might actually bring it more over here. That way I can bring the uh, queue line to this corner and have the AI kind of feed directly into it. snake this around a little bit, try to fit. I, mean, I have two trains with high capacity going, so I can easily fit a bunch of people into this queue. There we go. That seems okay. That's 625. We are good. Go ahead and put this at $6. Open it up every 10 minutes. I think this is one where I have to bump this up to 20. That way it doesn't uh, get hung up on the top of the chain lift there. And then I do want to make sure, is it Handyman 3 that has this area? No, it's 2. Boom. There we go. All right, and we are doing all right. Go ahead and continue fast forward and getting that money because now we have one, two, three, four, five. We're halfway there already. So, uh, we're still designing roller coasters. That's good. Ooh, our last time was a Giga roller coaster. I like Giga coasters, they're really good. Where are they? Nope. I'm missing them. Where? Oh, there they are. Uh, let's see. They are very expensive, though. I built one Firecracker. It's a smaller one. Only 15000 you know. Reasonable budget. And I also built Bottlenose. Uh, yeah, Firecracker... They pulled out like seven, seven excitement. We're fine. Uh, we are at ten thousand already. We could, you know, save up for it. But uh, these impulse coasters, they do. Uh, I think they do provide good excitement value. Uh, circulator and multi diver. I haven't put multi. I haven't used multi diver yet. I'll use that one. Oh, more rain, more money. See, uh, yeah, this one's propped up a little bit. I, hmm. I think I'll put it here. And then move the exit over on this side. That is 10 up, not 5 up, isn't it? Okay, I might have to, uh, place this down again.
Ah, I want it without the path. There we go, thank you. Yeah, uh, exit on this side right here. Go ahead and test it, and that way, you know, the it's not absolutely ridiculous. There we go, something like that. That might actually be too long. Yeah, something like that I think is okay. Uh, let's see, stats are almost here. 6.4, perfect. Go ahead and charge $6 for this. And uh, we'll wait till for it to launch again. There we go. There's so much garbage up here. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'll hire another one up here. Uh, let's see, bump them up here, and then Inman 4, you are relieved of this area. Don't worry about it. Take care of that over there. Oh, I do want this to inspect every 10 minutes. Now, if we go for uh, three mechanics. And did I adjust this to 10 minutes? I did, okay. Uh, we're at uh, 16,000 already. We can put in Firecracker. Hmm, here's another question. Where are we going to put in Firecracker? I mean, in order to make uh, room for more coasters, I am going to have to expand. So, where do I want to expand to? Because I do want to put, like, a U shape path or something. Maybe, like, here? That would be okay. Yeah, let me do that real quick. So it should bring out over here. See, that should be fine. And then this should give us, uh, we can put like coasters over here. Oh, okay, I guess we'll band over one more. There we go, and uh, more handymen. Come on, higher. Ah. I'll just drop them over here. I I can definitely put handymen in. I can be free with my handymen. Making lots, lots of money. Uh, let's see, I do need a bathroom, at least one. I'll put it right there. And then, uh, trash cans, that's what I was going to go for. Nope, scenery, third tab's the charm. Lots of trash cans. Stop littering. Okay, now let's put in firecracker. Hmm, if I can fit it. Yeah, these are kind of blocking it. Can I fit it this way? Would this be better? 
Okay, I'm just gonna have to get rid of these. They are in the way. Get rid of those. See, how high is this? Normally? Yeah, I guess that's about right. Not that. This. Alright, we'll go ahead and place it, start testing it. There we go, nice compact area, and there's the handyman. And it's raining, so I guess we won't. Uh, we can go ahead and watch this train. I don't think I've shown a firecracker yet in this series, so we'll go ahead and watch. It's it's a launched uh, Giga. Is a uh, open RCT2 added launch, the uh, launch pad, the Giga train type, and I like it honestly. Definitely, uh, just lots of air hills, air time. Uh, it's on, only one launch, so pretty tame, but lots of airtime, so lots of excitement. Hopefully some good ejector in there. Pretty basic. Uh, let's see, what is our excitement rating? 7.3, so I can charge $7 for this. Oop, what am I doing? 7. Open it up. Well, I mean, it's raining right now, so we'll go ahead and fast forward. Uh, set it to every 10 minutes. We're already at 6,000. We have one, two, three. Yes, yeah, so wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And are we that close already? Okay. Mm, let's see, what about suspended? How is the excitement on these? Uh, my custom design canopy flyers looks, uh, doesn't look great. It's 5.9, so I wonder if I could actually place it. I mean, I have 14,000. I have lots of money. Darn it, dude. Ah. Okay, maybe a slightly smaller coaster to fit in there. Oh, let's see, what do we have here? Mm, I could put in flashback. I think that's mostly a, uh, that's more of a compact design still. Bumps up right against there. I wonder if there's just something that's a little more compact. A time twister. Pretty compact and perfect. Exactly what I want. I'll probably swap the places of the entrance and exit, though. But that's fine. Mm, I guess something like that. And, oh wait, I still have 14,000. Wow. There we go. And we, uh, what are the results? 7.21, we'll set this at $7. Section every 10 minutes and open it up. Every 10 minutes and we'll just go ahead. Hire a couple more mechanics so you won't have to worry about it for a while. And uh, let's see, handyman. I just swore I saw a handyman in this area. Am I blind? I might be. There you are. Okay, so that's right on the edge. Okay, the exit path is covered. Perfect. 
Uh, let's see, maybe a few benches. There we go. And I want to say that we're... Uh, where's our rides list? We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, number of rides, nine. We are one coaster away from beating the scenario already. Wow. Like 30 minutes. Uh, let's go and fast forward. I want to put in a big coaster. Uh, wooden Wild Mouse. I mean, Wooden Wild Mouse has great stats. We could easily fit one of those in. I might actually do that. I know I said a big coaster, but then I would have to... I would have to put it out of the way and then build towards it again. If I just put a Wooden Wild Mouse, uh, then that's easy stats right there. Uh, yeah, this one... The, uh, not quite here. Get rid of this. Can we maybe put it right back here? We can. It is a, just out of the way, though. Yeah. It's going to be just an awkward fit, isn't it? Okay, what if we selected a different design? Uh, let's see, Mouse Towers. We could fit it right here, swap the place of the entrance and exit. I like that. Actually, no, no, I can't test it yet. We need to swap the entrance and the exit. There we go. Now, let's test it. And this should get us the win. Alright, so it's at 6.99, so I guess 6... 6.50. Uh, inspection time to 10 minutes, open it up, and there we go, we got it.